begins in Adversary, where the Lord of the Castle has called for heroes to come to his aid and defend him against the mad Dr. Junkenstein. Our tale is about to begin. <laughs> Dr. Junkenstein laughed as his minions arose, for tonight was the night of Junkenstein's revenge. Hello everyone, my name is Ms. Fortune and we're back with some more Overwatch. Um, this is a slight bit of an update video for you guys. Uh, I'm take it real slow though because I want this entire game to go over before I finish the video, you know? It's kind of a thing you probably want to do most of the time. Um, but yes, this is the new game mode. Junkenstein's Revenge, it's a lot of fun. Um, it gets repetitive if you play too much like I did, but I'm playing on easy right now, so... Why are you standing there? Whatever. <laughs> Could you not? Could you not? Alright. Um, I don't know why standing up here is being a, kind of a nuisance. Now it's going down. Alright. Anyway. <laughs> I got, that was sidetracked there because fucking people decide to be annoying sometimes. But yes. Um, this is an update video. So of course, I'm going to talk about a couple things. Um, uh, if you don't play Overwatch, you might not know what this even... Oh god, my mouse. Oh god, my mouse. What just happened? Uh, you might not know what is um, what's going on with it right now. This is a Halloween event. Um, it adds a bunch of awesome skins. A good amount of cool highlight intros and such. And um, it's, it's a generally enjoyable update. Uh, it's kind of like, it's akin to the TF2 Halloween update. Jesus, my mouse is dying right now. Uh, and that it's, it's, oh my god. What is going on? I can't even see him. I'm distracted now. Fucking distracted. A mouse is dying. I'm distracted by it. But yes. Let's hope that doesn't happen anymore <laughs> and it doesn't like fucking make me freak out. But yes, um it's a it's a very good very good update. Akin to uh, TF2 in the fact that it has cosmetics and such and it has a game mode that is quite fun and I enjoy. AKA this you game mode right here, Dragon's Night's Revenge. And, um, and wanna, there's a couple things I want to talk about, and those are, um, first off, I, I'm currently building a new rig. This rig is the best you could get, like, I'm, I'm not gonna replace this rig, that's not what the re rig is for. But this is not my rig. I don't own this rig. I might eventually, but I don't own it right now. And as a result of that, I need my own rig when I move out and such, so that I can get some stuff done and I can get my videos. God, he doesn't know what he's doing. And I can get my videos released and actually get him get him out the videos made in the first place. And uh, this means a couple things. I need to cut down on my money spending uh, because I need to get these new parts and such. Uh, what I'm getting is a f uh, i Core i7 4700, uh, 4790. Uh, CPU, and I've already bought, picked out and bought a motherboard. It's on its way to me right about now, and I'm gonna pick it up, hopefully, some around, sometime around next week, as it's an in in the um, in country purchase. It's not, it's not, it's not an international purchase, so it should be here pretty fast. And uh, I'm gonna have my 1060 free gigabyte gaming X version, and it's gonna be fantastic because that that graphics card, dude. Mm. It makes me happy in many different ways. I'm not gonna mention all of those, obviously. When I want to keep it PG-13. Just kidding, obviously. This wheel needs to stop being strapped. But yes. And that's gonna be great. Um, I need to also pick up monitors, and I need to actually buy a legitimate Windows 7 Pro uh, license key. The thing is, right? This, I don't know if this is like a thing in general. But I can't find any fucking, like, actual, legit fucking, um, no seven, uh, no seven codes at all. Like, there's only OAM, co OAM codes, which are specifically for OAM rigs, and I can't actually use unless I wanted to spend it once and then never ever, ever again because it's bound to a specific instance. So I don't know what to really do. Um, I might just have to buy a second hand code, which is what I'm probably gonna end up doing. The thing is, though, I haven't found a single listing locally or anywhere else really in Norway that has a legitimate code and actually has like we're gonna send it to you, we're gonna ship it to you, etc. 
there is like no physical copy to buy. There's only like, oh, you buy this and then we send it to you on PM. You can totally trust us, and I'm not sure if I want to do that. But, as FaZe has it, it seems like that's the only thing I can do. So, sometime next week, or maybe even next month, depends on how my uh, money goes, I will buy that code. Uh, I have a rig before then, but it just won't have a full Windows 7. It won't, it won't, uh, it can't, uh, like, it can't update until then. So I just need to deal with that, install my drivers, and then just wait for the day that everything just, just goes to plan. And then I can still use the rig. In the meanwhile, it's just, you know, it's nice to have updates. Nice to have Windows 7 updates, although they take two freaking years to download, and there's like a million of them every single time. Either way. It's important to have that, so you can actually have like a legit a Windows 7 installed on your computer. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty optimistic. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get a code pretty easily, and it won't be a hassle, I won't get like a fake. And I'll just lose my money over something that definitely does not work. Otherwise, there's also another purchase I have made already. That is this AKG M220 Pro headphones. They are amazing. The sound, the highs and the lows are incredible. They sound great. It's an audiophile headset, so I guess what that's what you would expect, all right? But it was on sale for 60 bucks. 60 bucks for a studio-grade headphones, like studio-grade headphones you would use in studio to, for mixing the music that you're recording and shit. Like it's really, really high end for something of that price, and I love it. It's been very good to me so far. It's probably a headset I will always use for recordings and streams, like definitely for streams and recordings. But will I use it for just normal gameplay? I don't know. I haven't found that yet. It's probably it's gonna probably be one thing that I cherish enough that I won't use it for everything. And as such, um, it's gonna it's not gonna break easily. Obviously, it also has an attach detachable headphone cord, but that's like that's besides the point. I still want to get minimal use out of it, outside of stuff that I need it for, so that I can um, make it last for as long as possible, because this is not a thing that I want to lose. I've uh, had enough with losing the Steel Series Siberias, I've, like, I've had two break, I've tried to fix one of them, I got halfway and actually like did something, and I forget to like uh, put on a sleeve before I actually put the cord together, so I am currently, just I just have it sitting in a drawer, Probably to be neglected for five years, and then said, I'm like, oh, I want to repair these and use them for casual gameplay. Knowing myself, that's probably what's gonna happen. <laughs> Which is kind of dumb, but at the same time, you know, I can accept it. I'm, I'm cool with it, so it's not a big deal. And, um, yeah. I also want to mention that today is the 20th of October, the first day, 20th of October, and this marks that tomorrow, well, actually in a couple days, on the Saturday of this week, I will start to stream more Overwatch to get more levels up. Because I need to level up to get these skins and such, because obviously I need to either buy them or need to um, open like a billion crates to get them. So I'm playing this game until I get like at least like 30 crates. Like I'm level 99 now, I'm gonna take a, get a prestige and then get all the way to level 20 or level 25, 30. Depending on how like much I care, because it's it's kind of an annoying game to play nowadays because there's so many hero stackers, AK people that pick the same hero, and then they just have a team of like fifty like fifty Hanzos and one healer, and it's just like I'm not doing this, so I'm just kind of just kind of pushing myself through this, and hopefully I'll be able to actually get um, enough hours in to level up and get a prestige, and then just smooth sailing from there. Anyways, guys, this has been a short video, update video, um, and uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, leave a comment, and just consider subscribing to join in on the madness that is this channel where I cannot do anything correctly. Anyways, guys, until next time, peace out. Empowered. Attack! Do my part.